What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Scarlet Nexus, and if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. Today, we are reacting to Scarlet Nexus episode one. I decided to react to Scarlet Nexus is because I plan to play the game. So I'm like, okay, if I want to play the game, I might as well watch this anime that they have. Okay, this looks like a flashback. We got over here. Hospital. Someone with white hair and a barrette, a red barrette. Scarlet Guardian, saviors of our planet. Are they role playing? <laughs> this does not look serious. So I want to play Scarlet Nexus because I've played Astral Chain and the people who made Astral Chain made Scarlet Nexus and I heard that they play similar. Wait, what happened there? Oh! Somehow he was able to manipulate his sword to go inside the guy's back. What was his name? Nagi? <laughs> He's like so proud! <laughs> He's like, I am now a Scarlet Guardian. So cute. Oh dear, that looked painful. He's like, of course they say your name. Wow, this guy, he has a lot of pressure on him. He's got a dad who's high up there. He's got a brother who's high up there. Yuito? Can such a privilege Done. Well, he's not wrong. Like, it seems he's privileged and he's been living in a life of luxury. But I guess because he has so much pressure on him, like, he's in, he's put in such high regard that he has to live up to it. And I guess this was it called psionic. His aptitude is low, so they're like kind of questioning. He's like, oh, did he get the position because of his privilege? I don't think so, because that test, whatever that test was, looked really difficult. <laughs> Not just anybody can pass it, okay? Oh, 
Oh, who are you? I have a thing for silver haired people. <laughs> There's just something about shaggy silver hair. <laughs> Silver, white, lavender. Brain eater. Oh, and who's this? got some girls cheering like they're part of like a boy band or something. They're like, yes. I want to have your baby. <laughs> oh yeah, it is called Psionics. Scarlet Psionics. Interesting robes. Oh look, oh look, a red barrette. But it's on the wrong side. Oh, that one, that one, that one's on the correct side. Twins. <laughs> he actually waved. Is it a coincidence that they both have red eyes? And if they're twins, is a girl with like the silver hair, is she like albino? I'm only saying that because she has like white hair and red eyes. And her other sister is not. <laughs> Is that Yuito's brother? Are within your brain. Extinction belt in the stratosphere? Aliens? Oh, that's a lot. Over 2,000. I'm assuming they can all see that because of the earring. <laughs> Courage, do it, do it. Wait, I thought you wanted to talk to her. <laughs> oh, she's adopted. Okay. That makes way more sense. If both sisters are elite, would that mean that it's how they were nurtured? <laughs> he totally wants the other girl. He wants to know me. He's like, she's mine. So she, since she's mine, you get the other one. Right? Right? You have the other one, right? <laughs> Red strings. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> She's like, can you uh filter what you say? <laughs> Are they all in different, um, brigades? Pyro! Wind! Fire! Wind! Clairvoyance? <laughs> Why do you have to bring that up? Breakout superstar. <laughs> Ball buster. Wait, isn't there another person that needs to be introduced? You can't skip the last person. Hello, it's important. I need to know. Especially since you guys are on your first mission. Isn't this important? Things are falling from the sky or stratosphere. Oh, this is the last person. Telepathy. So we have telepathy, clairvoyance. Uh, psychokinesis. Wind, air, fire. Yeah, better be safe than sorry, guys. Here we got electric. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, look at this transformation! Okay! Whoa! This is so gnarly! Like mannequins got taken over, possessed. Wait, are you telling me the clairvoyance can go out in action? <laughs> Dang, look at that kicking butt. Man, their uniforms look so good. It looks so good. It's giving me like Assassin's Creed. Slash. 
I don't know vibes. I don't know, I'm just getting like some Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer vibes. I don't know why, but I am. Mmm, you guys are gonna be in trouble. Going off on your own. Yeah, who did save you? That's it? She's looking kind of <laughs> like boy. All you can do is go poof, poof. No wonder you're told to stay back. Not very aggressive. Precognition, so can she like? Predict foresight, foresight. Is it like foresight? Kind of like a uh, Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <laughs> Ay Nagi, I thought you were trying to get with this girl. She she's saving you left and right. <laughs> and his butt got saved too. Oh, she has the same thing as him. But better. <laughs> but better. Maybe he can do a psychokinesis with heavy weight. That was really slow. I'm being so critical of this. Super critical. <laughs> I feel bad. Are we purposely portraying how much he's struggling here? Wait, she can't be the one who saved him when he was younger because weren't they the same age? This is making me think that the red thread is going to involve some time traveling. She looks like she's doing PR control. They're like celebrities. It's like they have to control how the public views them. So young looking. Oh, you lost two members? Oh. Ooh, their heads are gone. Because others feed on human brains. And apparently brains, power of brains is what's needed to be part of this scarlet stuff.
mother of all conspiracies. This nation gone mad? Oh, there's a oh, a big conspiracy! Oh. And apparently there is stuff after post-credits. Okay. But normally you'd be severely punished. <laughs> like he's like, oh, you got it? No repeats. <laughs> Pass the test? Aww. That's a nurturing person. Well, that person gave a stink eye. Next episode. Alrighty. Looks like they're going to be in action. And that was my reaction to Scarlet Nexus episode one. What did you think about that episode? What did you think about this video? I know I was being kind of critical of our protagonist <laughs> and his friend Nagi. I'm just like, I think they purposely made them look like they're struggling just to show development throughout the series because... Not gonna lie, I do get tired of OP characters right from the get-go. So, it's nice to see when characters start from the bottom and they work their way up. But it just seems like they're trying too hard, I think. I don't know. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. So, there is the part where Yuito is from... A well-known family. His dad is like a chief. His brother is another high position. And they're like saying that he has like a silver spoon, golden spoon, whatever. But he has like a low um psionic aptitude. And it's... He's in... Mm, it's like things are set out for him. But because he has like a nice clear path he has to have some flaws you know what i mean and they're really showing that he has flaws like he's struggling like it seems like he also has like some ptsd going on and he's looking for a savior and he has a type of resolve he has a depth with the scarlet um people's scarlet nexus <laughs> um no, I, I need to see more. I need to see more episodes because um, this first episode, oh, it looked nice. That's that's what I'm going to say. It looked nice. <laughs> it looked cool. I, I like the action. I'm very interested in the other characters. Like uh, the ones that actually went out. The girl who is part of the scout brigade. The scout and the clairvoyance. I mean, they went out there to fight. Um, they must be really good. They must be uh well trained to actually do that from the beginning. And I am interested in the other girl who had the same power, psychokinesis, as Yuito. Yuito had to um be held back, but she could go out in action, and they have the same power. I'm just lying. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link to the Discord is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos like to stop by the streams, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things if you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Super Fina channel reacting to Scarlet Nexus Episode 1. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Super Fina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe 
so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. Fist bump.